how does it work with yourself and uh, the sporting director, um, Hendrik Amstad and Paddy Riley, after a game, do you, do you come together on a Monday and discuss where you're going to go from here, or do you just do it? I mean, how does it work? Um, it's really, it's really within the club that uh, things uh, works. I mean, uh, I'm the manager. Nobody asking me uh, this kind of question. Uh, I'm only discuss uh, with the staff, uh, either with uh, Reginald Ray or with Tony Parks. Then, uh, <coughs> how can I express that um, I'm responsible for the way the the team is playing, and uh, I can do my job uh, exactly what I want to to be. You know, then uh, I can discuss, of course, because I. Uh, uh, I meet uh, Hendrik or Paddy or Tom or a lot of people who, is, who are involved in the club who try to, to give the best for this club and uh, sometimes we have discussion but uh, uh, if you mean that uh, I have pressure or I don't know how to express that, not at all. Uh, I'm the responsible, the only one for the result of the team, the way we train, the, the way I want the team play. You're the football man here. I am, yes. And what about Randy Lerner? Do you speak to him on a week to week basis? Um, Have you met him? <laughs> no, I, you, you should understand that I can't tell you all about this thing, this thing sorry, uh, in, in depth. Uh, I can just tell you that uh, I'm in personal, I've got personal contact with him. I'm very uh, happy with that, and um, that's all I can say. Yeah. Question everybody wants to ask you. What's the impact on Jack Grealish? And I know you look forward to this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a normal question. Uh, Jack is part of the team. Uh, he has trained this week uh, again with the under 21, and um, because it was the, the plan with him, he knew that. And then uh, I know when he might return to the team. He knows as well, and then uh, when he will, I will tell you. Has he got to work towards that? Is he having to show you his commitment <coughs> to want to be in the first team? Yes, of course, but like uh, every player, as you know, uh, Jack made a mistake. Uh, he had, um, he had the, the consequence, he has to, to pay the consequence for that. Like uh, if, any, if another player does something wrong, he will have the same uh, treatment. Then. Uh, but you know, Jack is young and uh, he will be back in the team because uh, when he's uh, fully committed on his job, uh, he could be a good player. Do you think the players are picking up on the nobody messes with Remy message now? Have you put that out there? You know, it's not only with me. I mean, uh, <clears throat> it's... Uh, of course, we are playing games means that uh, we could thought that uh, we are kids, but we are not. We are in a big competition. We have a tough job to do. And to achieve what we should achieve, we need to be 100 percent focused on our job, on the way we can be the best prepared to, to win games. And uh, that's it. Are you worried about Jack and some of the younger players coming up to Christmas? There are Christmas parties. There are opportunities for them to go out. Are you warning them that they can't do this and, and, and they can't have that festive Christmas that other youngsters can? You think I should be worried? Or I mean, it's for me that just I, uh, I can uh, I just said to you, it's uh, I can't imagine that uh, when you have the opportunity to play in Premier League in a in a big club, big games, that you could be disturbed by. Uh, this this uh, time of parties, you know, even if it's Christmas, it's you can have Christmas in family, and then be prepared to play this game. I mean, it's if you speak to every European football player, they would like to play Boxing Day and uh, all this this uh, time to play football is fantastic. Then you have to know that this is our job once again, and uh, you do it, and you do it in a way that. Uh, you prepare to be to be 100 percent focused on that. Then, of course, it's a party. It's a party time, but uh, not for us. That's it. Did 
Adama Traore, please you last week. Did he give you um, the impression that maybe he could be starting for the team? He's very young. He needs to, to learn. Um, to answer to your question, I was not completely happy about uh, the way he came in the game. In the game. Um, he needs to improve his understanding of the game, you know. He can be very strong on 1v1, he's very quick, very fast. But then he's young and he needs to, to understand uh, maybe a bit more the collective game. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a nice person, nice guy. I have the feeling that he wants to improve and uh, then he's, uh, he's on the right way for me.